As rates of mental health-related disability have risen sharply over recent years, the government has decided that it's all gone too far. Our breakdowns, crack-ups and la-la-la correspondent Jonathan Goodenough has more. Yes, that's right. Thrust into a world of pandemics, economic breakdown, climate change and war, people today report higher rates of mental health issues than previous generations, who were told from an early age not to make a fuss. The question is, why? Are they perhaps more comfortable talking about their mental health? That's certainly one possibility. Maybe the past was filled with a huge amount of silent suffering and we're only just beginning to understand the complexities of the human mind. Right. Or then there's the government's view that too many people are wimps these days and they should just shut up and go back to work. Could the pandemic still be playing a role? Absolutely, many people are still suffering with long COVID or the after effects of four years of trauma. And what's the government's response to that? Essentially, oh look, there's a squirrel. Or they just blame it on TikTok slash Jeremy Corbyn. So how could government improve the country's mental health? Well, they could start by addressing the root causes and investing more in mental health services. Indeed. And they'll certainly talk about doing that whilst exacerbating the former and defunding the latter. Does this all come down to money? Possibly, poverty campaigners claim that that can have a huge aggravating impact and that the cost of living crisis is also a mental health crisis. That makes sense. But newspaper columnists point out that rich people can feel sad too. Okay. And Jeremy Hunt has declared that £100,000 is not a huge salary, which must come as a bit of a surprise to the 96% of the population that earn less than that. So is mental health a priority? Absolutely. Right up until the point it becomes a drain on resources. Then it's all about pull your socks up, ADHD's not a thing, autism's just being annoying, and have you thought about trying to cure your chronic depression by going on a run? Thank you, Jonathan. Next up, as we all continue to process the sad news about the health of the Princess of Wales, a small change to our schedule. The planned documentary, Where the Hell is Kate? It's a Right Royal Mess, has been replaced by a discussion show entitled Why Can't They All Just Leave Her Alone? presented live from outside Kensington Palace.